So you mentioned walking around with absolute physical specimens, guys and gals and, and people from all different parts of the world. And I never got to experience walking around other people as peers as a professional athlete. But I do remember at Richmond where I would be in the training room with a couple basketball players or football players or maybe I walk past them in the hallway and the thought would run through my head that I'm a different species than this person. Te- technically we're both human, but if an <laughs> alien if an alien came down to earth and put me next to an O lineman or a receiver with, you know, 0.4% body fat or a seven foot tall basketball player, they wouldn't think we were the same species. They'd be like, this is uh, one animal, me. It's like a, a, a softer, pale, uh, you know, maybe a little bit cute version. And then there's this <laughs> other person that's like extremely ripped, uh, can jump nine feet in the air and can, you know, windmill dunk a basketball while they're running a route. Yeah, I mean, that's, I think you're exactly right. I mean, it was it was literally a mix of that and just what just even way more diverse. Like, I mean, you could also it was cool to like try to pick out what sport you thought certain people were with based on based on their body type. But yeah, I mean, you you saw everything, and it, it's funny because like baseball is like you put a lot of time in for your body, you put a lot of time in on the field, but it's also like a very unique body type. Like you have guys that are very strong in great baseball shape and they're able to play 162 plus games a year but like you have a dumpy front you know and stomach area where like some of these other athletes like you said were just like absolutely ripped physical specimens and uh it was just cool to like see like the difference in sport and it just like the difference in the way that people were built like baseball players definitely stood out i mean from already knowing who some of the guys were though and then like looking at some of these guys like the usa baseball team you could definitely tell like at least for me you could really tell when it was them um Mm. versus like you know some of these like taller taller girls um could have been like I said, volleyball, track, um, basketball, and then like you know the smaller the smaller people like you know more like gymnastics. But then there was like people who were I guess doing like judo there or some form of fighting and were in smaller weight classes. And I mean they were like Manny Pacquiao type build where there's like no body fat and just like they look yeah. skinny with like a shirt on. But then like when they're wearing something tighter, just absolutely ripped. So yeah, that was for me. Cause like, I, I really liked the fitness side of it. That was something that was, um, pretty unique to, to see in the weight room. Um, yeah. Yeah. Ba- baseball is a weird and unique sport in terms of the variety of body types where you can excel and be good at your job. Like you, you can have a guy who, walks out of a a UPS truck and he's in a a UPS driver's uniform and and no hate to UPS drivers, you know, do a, they provide a great service. I'm, I'm just giving an example of a more average job. And so you could have a guy that gets out of a UPS truck. You wouldn't think twice about it. And then also you could put him in a baseball uniform and he's like a left fielder and he might be the best left fielder in all of baseball. But for something like an O-lineman or you have just an absolutely shredded receiver or someone who plays basketball, you know when you pass a guy in the NFL. You know when you pass a guy yeah. in the NBA. There are a lot of guys that play Major League Baseball that get paid hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars a year that if they walked down the street and I wasn't a fan of that team, I would have yeah. no idea based on just looking at their body that they were the most talented or part of the most talented group of baseball players on the planet. Yeah. I mean, I think with baseball, you see a mix of that. You see guys who might, you know, I remember when Noah Syndergaard was living in, I think in Manhattan and there were always spottings of him on the street and people trying to take pictures of him. Cause he obviously he stands out. And then there's people that, like you said, you would never be able to pick them out of a lineup and say they played big league baseball. And that's why I think, baseball is so unique because a lot of people have that natural ability and 
instinct and hand-eye connection that really helps put it all together. And then there's other people where you have to, you know, create that that body and that mm-hmm. ability to perform every single day. Um, you kind of have to create that yourself, and that's why you see so many different shapes and sizes in the sport. And I wish that uh, I wish that fans and people that follow baseball would be more appreciative of the unique skill that goes into it. 